So hello, welcome back to another video and today I'm looking at an absolute beauty. Today we're in the Porsche Boxster S. So let me turn the camera and I'll show you the car. So as you can see, it's a beautiful car. For a 20 plus year old car, I mean, it's, it's, it's held up surprisingly well. And I think, I think the looks are still there. I think I know people hate that 996 sort of front end, but for me, I've always sort of liked it. I think, I think there's something about it. And I think now they're becoming a modern classic. I think especially like, if you can get your hands on like a 996 Turbo or something, I think they're gonna be a legit modern classic. In a couple of years, they'll be unaffordable. And I think this, at the price it sits at, I don't think you're going to get anything better for the money. But all the pleasure in this car is in the driving. So let me set up the cameras inside, we'll jump in, we'll go for a little cruise. So yeah, like I said, I'm thinking about changing the TT now. It's been two years. Is it time for a change? I know it wasn't many videos ago when I said I wasn't changing it. But we change our minds. That's that's the privilege of being a, a petrol head, isn't it? You're constantly changing your mind. And I feel like is a Porsche the way to go? Is a 996, is a 997, is a boxster the way to go? I mean driving this, I couldn't be happier. It's, it's comfortable, it's got L mod cons. I mean, there's a few upgrades I'd probably do. So there's a few upgrades the owner's gonna do. We'll, we'll follow this car for its journey 100 percent But I mean just listening to that noise for the driving pleasure, which is really what we want a car for. This gives you everything you want. I mean I could do with the back seats, but kids can run along behind, right? Tell you about the car that is owner himself. This is Chris. What's up, people? Say hello, Chris. What's up? Tell us, talk us around your car. Yeah, so basically, it's a 2001 Porsche Boxster S. Yeah, and um, it's had quite a lot of mods on, so I'll talk you through some of them right now. Um, first of all, it's had a red roof replacement. Okay. So the normal ones, they come, they used to come with a black roof and a plastic rear screen. Yeah. This has got a, up, um, a facelift red roof and it's got a glass heated rear screen as well nice so it's got that it's got this rear spoiler not too sure how i feel about it yet but <laughs> it's all right i guess um it's also got another spoiler let me uh, we should say yeah. you ain't owned the car for long no. it's a new car so you're going to put your own stamp on the exactly, car exactly exactly so um i quite i, I quite like that I quite like and that, that one, that's an active spoiler, yeah, that's that one, an yeah? Spoiler. It comes okay. up above uh, 70 miles an hour, or you could put it on yourself. Tell us about this exhaust. So, this is a Jan Speed, um, it's a Jan Speed rear box. Um, okay. And, uh, and uh, the, the pipes as well. Yeah. Sounds lovely. It does indeed, I yeah. can vouch for that. Um, it's got parking sensors, it's got the upgraded lights, but I'm going to upgrade them to the LED lights as well. Yeah. To make it look like a newer model. It's got 19 inch. Um, Porsche alloys. I'm gonna paint the insides black because I don't really like the silver bit. So nah. the silver but I'm gonna paint the whole thing black. Um, it's got the 911. As we discussed, yeah. 
I think on this car, yeah. I, I do love it. I think the specs right there, yeah. but I think for me, it's the wheels. It's the wheels. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. They just don't sit right for me. I don't yeah. know. That's, that's, that's the same for me, to be honest. Um, you said it's sitting on coilovers. Yeah, sitting on coilovers, so it's been lowered a bit. It's got the um, upgraded uh, side indicators and headlights. It's got that electronic. Uh, uh, Xenon original Because uh, the, the standard ones was this bit here not orange Yeah this bit was orange So this is like upgraded so like on upgraded, the 996 yeah. right And this is, uh, it's got the um, It's got the uh, uh, Litronic, they call it Litronic but it's basically the Porsche Zen Xenon lights. Okay So okay. they're standard Porsche uh, Xenons um, I've put my private plate on it I'm going to get these painted black as well Yeah that's, that's, to that's a must yeah. You know with that like, everything blacked out Exactly Obviously you got that, the beautiful badge there Yeah the Porsche badge and um, most of the stuff is actually done to the interior. Okay. So with the interior now, I'll just open the door so yeah, you can yeah, see. Right. So this shouldn't look nothing like this. So on, okay. this is the first, um, the first gen Porsche 986. So with the first gen, it didn't have a glove box. It didn't actually have come with a glove box. I never box. came with one. No, and they don't come with a glove box. Okay. The 2003 to 2004, so 2003, 2004, they, they changed loads of things, including the glove box. Okay. They also didn't have cup holders. So these cup holders, they're from the upgraded model. Let me get a good look at these, because I like these. So look, you got, you so got a single got one, cup. And then you can pull it out if you've got two. Now that is over force engineering yep. all day long. And I love that. I think that is such a feature. Yeah. Obviously, um, I'm taking it your full Alcantara full wheel Alcantara. there isn't standard. It's not just the steering wheel as well. You'll see, um, if you look at the side Let of me, the door handle. Let me handle. I'm going to fly on the other side. Yeah, yeah. There you see that red roof. I mean, that red roof really sets it off. I love that. It's also got the red seat belts. Red belts. Red belts, yeah. We're matchy matchy. Uh, so, yeah, so, and your dials there don't look standard either. Yeah, to so me. these are the um, 911, 996 dials because normally the Porsche box only has three. Okay. So, this has got the five from the 911. So, that's also been done. Uh, and that gives it a real nice, yeah. that's yeah. a real, real driving position there. Exactly. So you got the Alcantara. If yep. you look on the side of the door handles as well, and where your um, oh, so this is all Alcantara. Yeah, this is all Alcantara. And this middle bit here, Alcantara. Oh, see, so, so they've all been retrimmed. Okay. Yeah. You got an aftermarket unit in there. Yeah, aftermarket unit, uh, Pioneer unit. Um, it's got the big uh, the the sport seats. The I will really say for the seats, they are snug. Very. I mean, snug. I'm a the chubbier guy. <laughs> they are snug. They are very snug. Yeah. Um, not this comfortable though. I yeah, mean, we've been driving around for a while. They're, they're not really comfortable. Tight. They're tight. But when you're driving on these sort of roads, I think you need right. it. Yeah. I think on a road trip, yeah, it might, it might, it might exactly. get me down a little bit. But for now, they're doing it. It's all right. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. the um, Bose system as well. Upgraded Bose. Okay. Oh yeah, we have got Bose speakers yeah. all around. Um, heated seats, reverse sensor. So it's, it's quite a good. And everything one. in this car works. Everything works. There's nothing. We've obviously that doesn't got work. that all important. Six-speed manual gearbox, yeah. which you cannot go wrong with. Yeah. So have you found how long have you owned it now? I've owned it probably like two weeks now. And how are you finding it? It's the best Any car problems? I've ever owned. No problems. Best car you've best ever owned. Best car I've ever owned. Coming I'm out of the TT Mark II. Coming out of the TT Mark II. I've had two TT Mark IIs. I've had a BMW 435i, a Range Rover. This car's by far the best. Yes. Yeah, this car's the best. Big it's not the big fastest, talk. but it's it's the most enjoyable. Okay. Like, in this, I feel like I'm driving like a a little. Ferrari or something, do you know what I mean? So you think, you think, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, not badge snobbery, but yeah. you think the badge lifts I it? I don't even think it's the badge, I think it's the whole driving experience for me. Okay. I mean, driving a Porsche, yeah, it's got, like, you do get a lot of cars, like, not trying to give you way and people thinking you're some sort of, like, Especially it? with the roof down, exactly. music playing. Exactly, with the roof down, <laughs> you look like a <laughs> it, but, like, I, I couldn't be more happier when I drive this car. I couldn't. Be. Yeah, to be fair, well, I've been driving it for what half hour, forty minutes, yeah. and I, I can see that. You I can, can see, see why, I mean, I, I'm looking. I'm already thinking of auto trader on the way home. <laughs> You're gonna get home. You I'm gonna auto trader. But I think for the money th th these are going for, yeah, you can't beat it. Man. I think I think you're gonna have to go a long way. Yeah. I mean, get in the comment section if anyone can think of anything that for this sort of money yeah. gives you what this car gives you. Because I can't. We can't. And we're, we're the people that sit on the auto trader 24 hours a day. Literally. And I can't think of anything for this price bracket. I mean, obviously, this is not a standard model. This is not what we do. We don't keep standard cars. That's the fun of it. That's what this channel's about. But even in the standard, guys, 
the cars on top. I mean, this car has had any engine work done to it. It's got a, a induction kit and an exhaust. But other than that, that is how it come out of the factory. And that's where all the fun is. I mean, the noise in this car adds to it, but that is all the fun. The driving in this car is what it's all about. It is a little rocket ship. It is a little rocket ship, and I've all sort of fallen in love with it. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say. But um, I think we're gonna go for one more little spin around the block. I'll bring you along one more little spin around the block, and then that'll be it. But thank you, Chris. Thank you for showing us around the car. Thank you for giving me the chance to no drive problem, it. Man. I really, it. really, really appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Serious, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you do want to pick one of these up, you better get stepping because they're not going to be cheap. For and we're going to we're going to follow the journey of this car. Yeah, yeah those Chris sure. are my friends. So for sure, we're going to Chris will be on on the. That's big bro, you know. He's going to be on the first car for the road trip. He's yep. going to be there. Come His on. place is already certified. Yeah. And we're going to we're going to find we're going to follow this car on this journey, and just see where he takes it because I know he's going to do some crazy things with it and to it. And hopefully we'll be there, we'll be there along the ride. But let's drop back in, we'll go for a little cruise down these country lanes and then um, that'll be it for today. Right, so we'll jump back in. We're gonna go for a little, little cruise. Just because I'm not ready to give this car back yet. I don't think I'm ever gonna be ready to give it back. The shocking thing I've had in this car where usually in a car, once you start getting to that top of the, the rev range, it just wants to drop off. It just the power just delivery just ain't there anymore. You find an optimum point. In this, you have to remind yourself, I have to change gear because it just keeps wanting a and I was I was seriously thinking I'm over the whole manual thing and I'm gonna go for a tiptronic or a PDK or a double clutch, whatever I'll go for next. Hold on. Paddles or whatever, but uh, I'm loving the manual in this. Man. I'm loving the manual. Don't know if I'm ready to give that that sort of driving experience up for just so I can mosey around to the shops. I think maybe I'll just keep the focus for the shop trips. And sports car's got to be a manual. I think it's got to be. So this car has changed two things for me. I've never been a convertible guy. I've been loving the convertible. I mean, like, the roof's been down, bases that I've got in it. And, I'm, and I'm, 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 I've never really been, as a sounds thing, but I've not that I've owned one, but I've never really been a massive Porsche guy because I've always just been like, you know, is that you see them all the time. They're not like, they're not all that like specialness. But I see what people mean now where it's like, I'm about to drive it, man. I'm about to drive it. All that, oh yeah, look, look about, like, look at this, look at that. It's nice to have a car people look at. Not that I'm really lucky for that, but a car that has it's curb appeal. That's the one I'm thinking of. A car that has nice curb appeal is nice. Yeah, I, don't, I think that curb appeal sometimes is all you want, but then really, when you get to the country roads, there ain't no curbs. I'm just trying to enjoy this. I'm trying to enjoy the driving. Thanks for Chris for letting me Aggie his car around the country lane. Anytime. And maybe sooner than we think we might see a Porsche on the car for the channel. Sorry if the camera's been a bit jittery, but these lanes are not the best paved, so we're all over again, but they're fun to drive on. So stay tuned, plenty of stuff coming. Next video 100% is gonna be a bike video, I know I keep saying it. 
but it is going to be one. There've been a few issues with the bike, so I'll fully update you on that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.